My motto is, built not bought. When I was around 20 years old, I got hooked up with a guy working on his dirt track car. One day he was like, you want to drive? I'm like, oh yes, I want to drive. After that, I had a 20 year career running in circle track cars. When I started mellowing out more, I started picking up older cars. I'll work on one, use it for a couple of years. I'll sell it, pick up another one. I mean, you could buy the, the prettiest vehicle with all the modern luxuries. And yeah, it's nice. I don't have nothing against it. I do have air conditioning, but all the other luxuries, backup cameras and heated seats, I don't have none of that because I'm kind of like old school. This truck here is a 1940 Chevrolet truck. I was browsing around on Facebook one day and popped up a picture of it and the, the grill caught my eye and the guy had it sitting around in pieces. I was able to purchase it from him, but they never made this body style in the 1940. I mean, with the war and all, who knows what they did back then. It was just parts, nuts and bolts all scattered. And uh, that's why it came out as a 40 on a title. This little small block I did build for is basically a 300, 350 horsepower motor and around 300 foot-pounds of torque. I made sure the motor I built had a carburetor and a good ignition. If it breaks down, I could pull into a part store, find a part, and drive it home. chose not to put no paint on the exterior because it was the original paint and the way I look at it it took 80 years to get like that why would I ruin it and put a different color on it so I just preserve it with some oil keep it indoors but I do drive it I drive it in the rain you know I don't have to wash and wax it I'll wipe the windows down and take it for a ride to go to cruising type events where you just meet the local people, other people with the hobby that's, that they're working on vehicles and stuff. And you find a lot of parts and they may need something. I, mean, I met a lot of friends that I, I've been having for the last 10, 15 years at just a local little car show that we live close by but never knew each other had uh, vehicles. I never knew each other before. Building something yourself is a lot of pride in it and for that first drive, I always go inside and make sure my wife is home. I said, turn your phone on, just in case. 10 minutes later into the ride, she's calling me up. Are you okay? I said, yep, it's still rolling, it's still rolling. It's just that pride that you built something and now you're driving it down the road. You can't go buy a new car and have that feeling. When I was 15, 16, I guess I never imagined myself doing this for as long as I did it. I mean, still today, I mean, as long as I've been doing it, every day I get off of work, 90% of the time I'm in my shop tinkering with a car. If it's not my car, it's someone else's car. When I was 15, 16 years old, I never imagined that it took me this long and still love it and still doing it. I'm Curtis Vicknair, and this is why I drive. <laughs>